Hi everyone, it's me, Haley Malnicki, your school dietitian. I'm so excited to be back for episode two of Quarantine Cooking here in my home kitchen. Um, if you hear any noises, my family is home. We're all working from home, so just letting you know. Today um, on episode two, we're gonna be making apple nachos. And like I said in last the last video in episode one, I'm gonna leave the recipe below in the comments. And as well, if you make this recipe or any other recipes, I encourage you to post a photo in the comments, get other people and other students motivated to get into the kitchen during this time. Um, it's a great way to come together. So again, you can make this with your parents or if they feel comfortable with you using a knife on your own. Um, this is a great way for all of us to get together and make something delicious. So we're gonna be making apple nachos, which are super simple and basically so versatile. You can use anything that you have in your house. So I have honey crisp apples right now. If you have Gala, you have Granny Smith, any of those, they're perfect. Your favorite type of apple will work great here. So I'm gonna take my knife, and again, if you aren't comfortable, ask your parents for help in this part, and then you can do the toppings all by yourself. So I'm gonna go around the core and cut it like I would if I was gonna slice it and eat it. So we want that core to just stay by itself. And then I'm gonna take each of my pieces and cut it into thin slices. So the apple essentially is going to be our chip for these nachos. So like I said, you can use any apple that you have on hand. I just wanna thinly slice these. This is a great um, recipe to make with your siblings or if you have your parents in the house so everyone can kind of snack on these throughout the day. Um, a great little way to get away from your online homework for a little bit and get creative with what you have in the house. Plus they're a nice little sweet treat to kind of mix it up. So I'm gonna evenly place my apple slices all over my plate, just like so. Just gonna finish slicing this one here. This is also a great time for parents to have your kids start using their knives, um, start developing knife skills. There's plenty of episodes on YouTube or places to learn how to hold a knife properly. Okay, so there we go. So I have all my apples um, perfectly evenly placed. And this is the time to get a little bit creative of what you have in your house. So again, we're using pantry staples that you already have. Um, so if you like peanut butter, we're gonna do a drizzle of peanut butter or melted chocolate. If you have caramel, if you wanna get really, really fancy. Um, so I'm first gonna do a sprinkle of cinnamon because I love cinnamon on my apples. So that's gonna be like my little bit of seasoning on my chips. And then I'm gonna do almond butter, um, a drippy kind of like um, uh, nut butter that kind of will fall off a spoon is where you want to go for this one. This is kind of like our cheese for our nachos. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of my almond butter over the top. And this is where you can get creative. So you, like I said, you could do melted chocolate, you could do Nutella, basically anything that you have on hand. And I like to note when I'm talking about nut butters about looking at the ingredients list. So right now we're using what we have on hand, but when you do go to the grocery store, we want to flip it over to the nutrition fact label and look at what ingredients are in our nut butter. So things you want to shy away from are those hydrogenated oils, um, added ingredients like sugars. We really want to be the nut and a little bit of salt um, for that flavor. So those are some things to look at. And then this is where you can get kind of fun. So I have my little bowls with all of my toppings. So today what I had in my cabinet was some shredded coconut, some chopped walnuts, chocolate chips, of course, and a little bit of granola. So this is where you can get really comfortable and fun. Um, I also could have tried doing maybe some like dried cranberries or raisins, anything like that. So especially, this is a great snack for if you're allergen, like if you have a lot of allergens, so you can really customize it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of coconut, maybe a little bit of granola for some crunch. And of course, I gotta top it off with chocolate chips because this is supposed to be fun. We're in quarantine, so we're gonna eat a little bit of comfort food. So there you have it. There's my plate of nachos that I've made. So again, you can do this with any type of apple that you have in the house. Um, like I said, I'll be back for the rest of the week, um, hopefully every day with some new recipes, with some pantry staples that you already have. Um, I will leave the recipe in the comments below. And if you make this, I encourage you to post a photo of it. These are really photogenic. So I hope you guys post what you've created in the kitchen and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. So this is Haley. I'll be back later this week for more quarantine cooking.